Hey, good evening. Good Friday evening. I'm Carrie. Welcome to my cozy kitchen. This evening, I am going to fix a hummingbird cake, okay? I've already made one today to go outside the house, and I'm getting ready to make another one for my house, okay? And this hummingbird cake is probably the most simplest cake that you can make. I didn't even have to pull out the mixer this evening, okay? So we're going to get started. All right, let's get started on this easy cake, okay? In my cake bowl, I have three cups of sifted. I sifted the flour. This is all-purpose flour, three cups of it, okay? We're going to put all of our dry ingredients together in this bowl. I have two cups of granulated sugar. I'm going to put that in there with my flour. In this uh, little bowl, I have a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda, okay? We're going to pour that in. All right. And that is all of the dry ingredients. As a matter of fact, we can go ahead on and put our pecans in as well. Now, these pecans, it's a cup of these, okay? This might be a little bit less because this is what I had left. The recipe calls for a cup. So I'm going to put most of them in here. I'm going to save some for the top, okay? If you don't want to use pecans, you can use walnuts. You can use any kind of nut you want, all right? And we're going to take a whisk, and we're going to... Stir these dry ingredients really good. Okay, mix them really good. This, like, like I said, is one of the most simplest, easiest cakes that I've ever put together. Yes. All right. Now we're gonna take and mix our wet ingredients. And I'm gonna tell you what, what I have for that I have three large eggs at room temperature. Okay, I let these set out to come to room temperature. We're gonna go ahead on and beat these a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna add one cup of vegetable oil. It's regular vegetable oil we're gonna put in here. Right. We'll pour that one cup in here. Mm -hmm. Let's get it all out. There we go. We'll mix that in. Um, our next wet ingredient is vanilla extract. And I'm going to have the description in the bottom of this video. Okay, if I'm going a little bit fast. So I'm going to put in it teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. It's one teaspoon and a half. Okay. That easy. That simple. Let's stir it. Want to mix this real good while we have it here because once we put it in our flour, we don't want to really beat the cake. We just want to combine everything in there. Okay, and I'm also going to add my pineapples. I have one can, one eight ounce can of crushed pine pineapples. All right, and I've already cleaned my lid. All right, I'm going to take this entire can, juice and all, and put it in here. Everything goes in. Everything goes in. All right. We'll take and mix that up good. Okay, and we'll add our bananas in last. So right now what we're going to do is take Move all of this out of your way so you can see. All right, so that's our wet ingredients. And we're going to pour it right into this flour. Right into the flour. I didn't get my spatula. I'm going to get that. All right. So 
So that's that. Like I said, the only thing left is the bananas. Now I'm going to take a spoon. I work better with a spoon and combine this. And you want to combine it good. We're not going to beat it. We're just going to mix it. It's going to be a thick batter. So don't be concerned if it's thick. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. You got all these goodies in here. And we just want to make sure that we mix it up good. Get that flour incorporated into that wet. Smells good already. Mmm. Okay, and the last thing that we have to add, I'm just checking to see if I've gotten all of my flour. All right, see how thick that is? Let me get this out your way as well. I want you to see this. See that batter, how thick it is? All right. Oh, you know if there's pineapples in a cake, it's gonna be good. Yes. Okay, now our last ingredient, we're gonna add in our bananas. I have two cups of bananas here, two cups. You want your bananas if you can, you want them to be ripe really ripe. I don't have my spatula here. I gotta get my spatula. All right, let me grab my spatula. Mike can do it with this knife. Yep. All right, that'll do it. Okay, and we're just gonna mix in the, I want the flour even off of my spoon. All right. And this basically is ready to go into the stove. Now I'm gonna show you my, my pans. I have three nine inch pans, okay? Now, you can fix this in three layers. You can fix it in two layers. It's up, up to you. I'm going to fix it in three. All right. And I think I got that pretty much well combined here. All right. Let's get our pans. Now, my pans I've taken... in the sink. Taking my pans, I grease them. And I floured them, lightly floured them. And then I put a piece of parchment paper in the bottom. Okay, that's just to make sure this is kind of a dense cake. Okay, and we want to be sure some, sometimes they have a habit of sticking in the pan, so this is to assure us that all of that cake is going to come out of that pan, all right? All right, and I'm going to take this batter here and divide it equally, as, as equal as I can amongst the three pans. All right, here we go. And you could measure this, you know, if you use the measuring cup and all of that. I just take and go by sight. And it won't be too far off. They won't be too far off, okay? All right, I'm sorry about that, y'all. Y'all heard my dog, if you heard my dog in the background. He's very possessive of his things. So I had to get him calmed down. And this video will probably be edited a little bit to try to cut some of it out. All right, so 
we're back to our filling our pans. Okay, that looks good right there. The rest of it will go over here. And we are done. These pans are going to go in the oven at 350. Have my oven preheated for 350 and they will cook for 25 to 30 minutes. That's how easy a hummingbird cake is, okay? So I'm going to get these in the oven and when they come out, I will be back to show you. With that icing, and what I'm going to do, I'm making cream cheese icing, and I am going to basically double this recipe because I'm making two cakes, two uh, hummingbird cakes. So I need double the icing. Okay. So what I have here in my bowl, I have two eight-ounce packages of cream cheese. I have two sticks of unsalted butter. Okay, I'm going to cream these, going to cream them. And I'm doing them together for the two cakes so I don't have to uh, clean the bowl, you know, do it a second time. I can just do it all at one time. And what I'm doing now is just trying to get the cream cheese and the butter kind of incorporated together and then I will slowly add in I have mm, just a smidgen more than four cups of confectioner's sugar and I'll see if I'm going to use it all I'm going to add a little vanilla extract into it a pinch of salt a pinch of salt and if, if I get it if it's too thick I can always loosen it with a little bit of milk Okay, so that's looking good. Let me get my spatula. That's looking good. Beautiful, beautiful. Can you all? Yeah, you can see, see that. I forgot. I, I got a glass bowl, y'all, so you can see. Yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna slowly start adding in my confectioner's sugar. Let's get some of this out of here off of this. And I do have on my whisk attachment for this icing. And remember the cake, I didn't even use a mixer. I just mixed it up with, with my hand, okay? So, let's go ahead on and start adding some confectioner's sugar. You know this makes a mess. See, can we get it in here without making too much of a mess? I'm going to start with about half of it, I guess. Mix that and then we'll come back and mix a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit more than half in there. Let's try not to make a mess. We're going to start this out slow. Because you don't want that confectioner's sugar all over the place. And I can already see we're going to need some milk in that. And that's okay. Some heavy whipping cream as we need it. Okay, and that's really slow. Spread down the edges on here. Get it all mixed in there and then we'll add some milk if we have to because we still have more sugar to put in this. And we'll turn the speed up. Okay, 
that is some beautiful icing, y'all. Look at that. Oh, oh. With that butter and that cream cheese. You can go ahead on and add some more confectioner's sugar. Okay, we're going to put it all in here. You can always taste it to see if you, if you think you have enough sugar. Make sure that that butter is not overpowering. But it is a cream cheese, so you want to be able to taste the cream cheese. Okay, and we'll start it slow again. And then we'll add what we need to. I'm going to take and put a pinch of salt in here as well. Just a pinch. Pinch. Trying to get some of the edges scraped down so we can pick up the speed here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to pick it up. We'll go ahead on and drop in our vanilla. That was about two teaspoons. And we may not need any liquid. I'm going to put a drop of this whipping, heavy whip, whipping cream in it. And we're going to let it go. Isn't that beautiful? And that should be enough for both of my cakes. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're going to scrape the sides down one more time and that'll be it. Look at that beautiful icing. And I wanted it thick. Stick to that cake, yes. That's good, because I can always take a spoon and go behind myself. Let's take a little taste of this, too, and see where we are with it. Get something to taste it. That is some beautiful frosting. O-M-G. That is good. Mmm. All right, y'all. That is cream cheese icing. Just that simple. Just half the recipe when you're only doing it for one cake. Okay, we'll be back to icing that cake. I do good to get the icing on it. I know how to get the icing on the cake. Okay? So what you do, you start, and this is the first layer. Okay? And cover the top of this, because we're going to put another layer on top. And you can put as much icing as you want. If you want a lot of icing, that's fine. Put it on there. I like a lot of icing, too. Okay, and then we're going to take and get another layer here because they have cooled off. Oh, look at that, y'all. My, my, my. Look at that. Yes. All right. Let's take and put another big. Look at that. Oh my goodness gravy. This one here is going out of the house. I'm getting ready to bake the second one. Look at that, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, and then we'll put our third layer on.
direction on life. And those two layers I put on upside down. This one I put on right side up. And there we go. That. Now this cake is soft and it's moist. Okay? It is moist. Yes. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. It is extremely moist. Mmm. All right, y'all. That is a hummingbird cake. And we're going to take and put some more icing right in the center again. But this time we'll go down the sides. Okay, pull it from the, the, the center. And I don't have one of those turning, but it's okay. You'll see it when it comes around because I got to work closest to me. I won't drench the outside like I did the center. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is going to be a good cake. They're going to enjoy this. Put some more icing. And that icing is just gorgeous and delicious. When I'm done, I'll take this and go around the sides again just to get it looking clean. Okay. Mm. And we'll put some nuts on it. And we'll put some nuts, a little bit of nuts. That is our hummingbird cake, y'all. And this is an easy cake to make. You don't even need to pull out a mixer. Mix it by hand, and that's what's so easy about it. Get all your ingredients out and just mix it up. Mix it up. Yes. Spread some of this on around here. So we have plenty of icing on this cake. Yes. Okay, when I put the nuts on, I will show you the finished product. Now, like I said, y'all, I'm not a cake decorator. All right, but I do know how to get icing on it. Yes, that is your hummingbird cake. Okay, and I'm just going to clean it up. There you are. I will show you after I put the nuts on. Be back. 